Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to. Hello and welcome to the new facelifted Hilux. Now even though this Hilux has been with us since 2016, Toyota have given it a substantial refresh and the refresh is not just skin deep, there are mechanical upgrades as well. So let me take you through this rather good looking new Hilux. The thing is, Toyota has a problem. It's called the Ford Ranger. It's a bit of a thorn in their side. And one of the problems is that the Ford Ranger has a really impressive two liter bi-turbo engine, which outpowers or outguns the larger 2.8 liter in the Hilux. And so to sort that out, whee, the Toyota engineers went back to the drawing board a little bit. I mean, they could have just ECU tuned the 2.8, but they reckon that Hilux engines are often put under a lot of strain, a lot of towing, 4x4ing, so they thought they needed to actually do some mechanical upgrades. And so they installed a larger turbocharger, redesigned the manifold so that the exhaust gases get to the turbo a little easier and a little quicker, and also did a little bit of a software upgrade, a bit of a tune. And now power and torque is pretty damn close to that offered in the Ford. 150 kilowatts, which is up 20 over the previous generation engine and 500 newtons which is exactly the same as the Ford but keep in mind that you only get those 500 newtons if you go for the auto in this new Hilux. If you go for the manual you still get 450. So now it's only 7 kilowatts short and has the exact same torque figure as the Ford Ranger. And interestingly for all that extra power and torque you don't necessarily pay a premium or lose out when it comes to economy because Toyota say they've managed to make this engine 11% more efficient even though it's more powerful. So if you look at the fuel figures between the two cars, between the Ranger and the Hilux, Ford claims an average of 8.1 liters to the 100 and Toyota claims a very convenient figure of 8 liters to the 100. So pretty much a dead heat there as well. There is quite a lot to remember about this new Hilux, so forgive me if I'm using the cars.coza motoring news section because I want to tell you about the new Toyota Safety Sense package, which includes or comprises of a pre-collision system, road sign detection, which is pretty cool, lane departure alert, and adaptive cruise control. And the Safety Sense package is standard on these legend Four by four models. It's pretty cool that this car now has radar guided cruise. That's really, really great for long distance journeys. It makes those long distance journeys a little bit easier. Other improvements are, of course, to the looks. I think this is the best looking Toyota Hilux ever, actually. They've completely redesigned the headlights, the grille, the front bumper. That has all been completely redesigned, and I like it a lot. The previous Hilux had that strip of LEDs in the headlights which looked a little bit like a Christmas tree. I think they've improved it substantially, which is good. You also get two new colors, one of which is the one I'm driving today. Well, I'm not driving a color, it's the color of the car I'm driving. It's called Oxide Bronze. And if you go for a legend model, then you get 18 inch wheels as standard as well. There have been improvements to the suspension. There are new shock absorbers, new bushes to give it a more comfortable on-road experience. And there are some improvements to the interior. They've redesigned and completely re-engineered the infotainment system. So now you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I really like because I prefer Google Maps to just about every other internal car satellite navigation system. I think it's just so much better. So that'll come up on your screen when you connect your phone and all your music apps and all the rest of it. Really is a great way to operate an infotainment system and to not have your hands on your phone.
Welcome to the back of the bucky. Something quite important I have to show you here, but I don't have much time because if I stand still for too long, I will be eaten to death by horse flies. So this car is the Legend RS model, this particular unit. And you might think RS stands for something cool, like really sporty, but it doesn't. It stands for roller shutter, I'm not even joking. So as part of this pack, you get a rubberized uh, bed, you get that very cool rollover hoop, which actually does look pretty good, not gonna lie. And you get an electric roller shutter, the one I just mentioned. That is pretty cool. I am actually pretty impressed by that. There's also some nice LEDs in here and a 12 volt socket. So you can clearly see all your stuff that's fallen over and rolled around in this massive load bed. There we go. That's all part of the part of the price tag on this model. Ah, ah, ow. Okay, cut. <laughs> So for this very, very top spec model with the roller shutter and all the rest of it, you are looking at 851,100 Rand. <laughs> wow, which if I'm not mistaken, makes it more expensive than a Ford Ranger Raptor and quite a lot more expensive than a Ford Ranger Wild Track, which is kind of spec for spec, quite similar to this car. The thing is, it's difficult to compare this to the Raptor because the Raptor is such a specialized product. I mean, that is a car literally designed for off-road racing, to be able to be jumped very far in the air, something I have done, land and not destroy itself, which I don't think is something that this Hilux can do. Although admittedly, it's a talent which not many people are probably going to exploit. The Ranger is a good product, highly specced as well. So it's interesting that Toyota have priced it in line with that car. I suppose what Toyota does offer is that reputation for bulletproof reliability. And so now with the Ford and the Toyota being so evenly matched in all those departments, I suppose it really is up to you, the buyer. Is the new Hilux worth 850 grand? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, I'm out of here. Just gonna, gonna quickly drive up the mountain. Bye. Cars at Coza is so much more than just a YouTube channel. Take our app for instance. It's been downloaded over 500,000 times in the Android store alone, which means it must be okay, right? You'll find the links to the download for iOS and Android in the description below. Budget insurance, affordable because you can't afford not to.